Hello and welcome to Beanworks University. This tutorial will show you how to make the most out of Beanworks. You'll learn how to customize workflow tabs and set up filters to maximize efficiency. We recommend watching this lesson after getting comfortable with the basic functionalities of Beanworks, learned from previous training videos. OK, ready? Let's log in and get started. The first thing we want to show you are the group actions available on some of the workflow tabs throughout Beanworks. If you're on the Workflow tab where you can see a list of items, click on the Actions button and see what options are available. For example, on the In Progress tab, being able to select a bunch of items and group change their owner can be a handy shortcut sometimes. Next, let's talk about setting up your workflow tabs. For each tab you have access to, you can pick the columns that are displaying. Click on the cog in the middle of the screen, and a pop-up will appear. The right side are the columns currently displaying, and the left side are columns you can choose from to personalize your display. You can choose up to nine columns. Move columns from left to right and right to left to pick the nine most valuable columns to you. Next, drag and drop the columns on the right to set the order of the columns. Top item is first and bottom item is last. When you have the layout perfected, press Save and the Workflow tab will reflect your changes. Now that you have the right columns, click the header for the column you want to sort the items by. Click again to sort in reverse order. Remember, for maximum flexibility, each Workflow tab, even within the same module, gets set up independently with a unique set of columns and sort. One other small thing, some workflow tabs have an only mine check mark. Normally, you'll leave this checked, unless you're checking on the work of other people. OK, now that you have made the grid of items exactly to your liking, let's talk about the panel on the left. Most of the tabs have status filters. Some are set by default when you log in to make sure you always see what you need to work on first. For example, the Invoice Module In Progress tab will always default the New, In Progress, Rejected, and reset status invoices, as those are the invoices requiring your attention. If you only want to look at certain statuses, then click the status bubbles until only the statuses you want to see are filled in. Filled in bubbles mean that these statuses are included in the list, and hollow radios are not. Next, there is the org unit filters. When we set up Beanworks, we work with your accounting team to create an org unit structure that helps everyone keep POs, invoices, and payments sorted, and in some cases to determine where things go for approval. A common example of org unit structure is by functional department for your company. If you want to search for invoices in a specific org unit, then click on them just like you do with the status filters to find the items you're looking for. Remember though, when changing defaults, to change them back when you're done searching so you don't hide items inadvertently. One of the most powerful features of Beanworks is the custom filters available in all workflow tabs. These filters allow you to quickly find certain items over and over again each time you're in Beanworks with just a push of a button. Press Add Filter to create a custom filter that sits on the tab ready to be activated at any time. If you're setting up a filter for a list of items that comes from your ERP and you have multiple ERP databases connected to Beanworks, you'll first need to select the legal entity from the dropdown. Choose one or more criteria from the selected filter dropdown. For example, I want to be able to find invoices over a certain dollar amount for five specific vendors. I add the vendor and amount filters. Then I put the criteria for each to complete the filter. Pressing search activates that filter. Then I meaningfully rename the filter by clicking in the default name field so I can find it easily at a later time. Now, each time I log in, that filter is ready to be activated with just a single button push. Clicking on the hollow circle will activate the filter. Custom filters are particularly handy for the invoice administrators that use ERPs with batches for invoices. By always using the same custom filter to filter invoices before exporting them, they are exported together consistently and therefore are in the same batch when imported into your ERP. Now that you can customize your Beanworks, the next tutorial you should watch is on searching and reporting. Thank you for taking the time to watch this training video, and congratulations on getting the final training tips on becoming a Beanworks master. If you have questions, 
please contact Beanworks Support by emailing support at beanworks.com. <laughs>